My question is for Secretary Blinken, and I hope you don't pass the ball to Secretary Ebrard. You respond directly. Um, yesterday in a teleconference, Under Secretary Zuniga announced that under the uh, works on, on the bicentennial has been dismantled a dozen of criminal organizations. And but I asked him about where are these criminal organizations were dismantled if, the, if there are American organizations or Mexican cartels. Because every time you guys mention cartels, everybody's thinking about Mexico. And probably Attorney General Garland knows exactly what I'm talking about. The DEA and FBI have a strategy called the American cartels. And I wonder if these organizations are American cartels, talking about gangs or motorcycle clubs who are directly involved in the distribution, sell, and transportation of fentanyl and all methamphetamines. And my question has to do with also the arms, because every time you guys mention the drug problem in the US, you look to the south. And I've been working here since 88, and it was the Reagan administration, the last one that I saw that they have an effective campaign against drug consumption in the US. Fentanyl is causing the death of 270 people every 24 hours. It is an accumulation of lack of work on a health and education problem in the US. It's not always Mexico. And the numbers of the arms that have been confiscated demonstrate that the US is not doing nothing in the southern border to stop the arms. By the contrary, Mexico has to go to the federal courts in the US in frustration because you guys are not working as you just told us. So I hope, even if you disagree, be honest and tell us exactly what cartels are you talking about or Zuniga was talking about, and also what else you're going to do besides wars to stop the arms trafficking to Mexico. And the last question is for Secretary Rosa Isela in Spanish. Están bajando los homicidios, es cierto? Being reduced by insecurity in Mexico is enormous. In the state of Mexico, and you know that, there are some municipalities that are run by criminals. They establish the price of the chicken, of the meat, of everything, and they don't want to go to the state of Mexico because the elections are coming. So my question is, do you think that with the numbers that we had in the Mañanera, people in these people are going to keep quiet when the reality is different, when nobody is being arrested, nobody is being investigated. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm not going to, to pass the buck to um, my friend Marcelo. I may pass it to my colleagues, however, <laughs> who may be better placed. But let me say a few things based on your question. Um, we have, and we talked extensively today, about the efforts that we're undertaking together to go after the transnational criminal organizations that are a plague on both of our countries. Because as you've heard from our colleagues, our number one responsibility is to protect our citizens, Mexicans and Americans alike. And as my colleagues can uh, discuss in more detail, uh, we have deepened our law enforcement cooperation, we've deepened our information sharing, um, and we are working together more effectively, uh, both to deal with drug interdictions, but also to deal uh, effectively with uh, arms trafficking. Um, as you know, uh, we criminalized uh, for the first time this year the illicit uh, trafficking in, uh, in weapons. That is a very important tool. Uh, the numbers in terms of uh, the seizures um, are up significantly uh, from, uh, from a year ago. So I think it's, um, I, I would disagree with the proposition that there have not been results. Uh, there have been. There are, but they're also not sufficient. And that's exactly what we recognized uh, and talked about today. How do we intensify these efforts? Every weapon seized is potentially a life saved. Every um, drug lab that is uh, disrupted uh, is potentially a life saved. And as uh, you've heard from all of us today, and we have the detailed information to, to support it. Lots of lives have been saved as a result of our efforts. But we uh, both believe that we have to do more because the magnitude of the problem 
is great. Let me just say on fentanyl before turning to, to my colleagues. Um, we have about 110,000 deaths by drug overdose in the United States every year. Of those, roughly 70 to 75 percent are tied to synthetic opioids, notably fentanyl. So this is killing more people than gun violence and traffic deaths combined. Uh, so we are deeply committed to acting effectively against it. Mexico uh, is also experiencing directly the ravages of fentanyl and synthetic opioids. Uh, deaths are going up there as well. Uh, we have a comprehensive effort together that focuses on every aspect of the problem, starting with education. Um, you've heard also Secretary Rodriguez speak to this. It's vitally important that we uh, educate all of our people, especially our young people, uh, for whom this is uh, particularly dangerous, about the threat from fentanyl and synthetic opioids. We are doing that, and uh, I think the Attorney General can uh, speak to the, uh, the campaign that we're undertaking. Uh, Mexico is doing something very similar. We are uh, working very hard as well on making sure that the precursors that go into making uh, fentanyl and other synthetic opioids that are legal but then get diverted to illicit purposes, that the international community uh, is doing a much better job in tracking those and making sure that um, if uh, you're sending a chemical somewhere, you know who you're sending them to uh, and they're not diverted. Uh, we're cooperating very much on that. Mexico has put in place some important procedures to make sure that that happens. We're, we've been doing the same thing, the two of us together uh, we'll be working with other countries on this, and also the private sector, which is critical. And we are working together uh, ever more effectively on actually breaking up labs, uh, interdicting illicit um, diversions of, uh, of chemicals, uh, going after, as we said, the uh, transnational criminal organizations. Uh, but more has to be done. More will be done. We're deeply committed to this together because we see the effect that it's having on our own citizens in both countries.